Welcome back, everybody. Today it's another Brazilian snuff here at Snooze at Home. My name is Matt. It's time to investigate Hape Guarani Mentalaju. At least that's how I think it's pronounced. D's are J's and O's are U's and T's are sometimes CH's in Portuguese. I don't know. I'm not Brazilian. This comes from a friend in England. We're taking a little break from the Toke Snuffs to get through this stuff because this stuff is rare and it's interesting and I do not want it to sit in a box in my freezer for a billion years until I'm actually able to take a look at it. Things excite me too, you know? I haven't had it all. If I remember anything about Brazilian nasal snuffs, it's that is these little tins are going to need some some like elbow grease but let's talk about the packaging before we actually tear it apart really weird color scheme i've been told by a viewer that guarani is the cheaper sort of nasal snuff for the brazilian market the more expensive one would probably be something like hape and perajor but here we go the cheap stuff being cheap doesn't uh doesn't sort of disinterest me at all in fact it makes me even more curious uh, people can acquire sort of rich people things all the time you know people have expensive whiskeys all the time they have like oh fantastic bourbons what i'm interested in when it comes to a bourbon tasting is what do like what's like the cheapest swill that i can sample because it's the cheap stuff that's exciting to me it's kind of enthralling anyways really nice little stainless steel tin these tins are overfilled they don't actually meet the lip uh or the lips don't meet the top of the tin so this is going to be overflowing and this tin is actually a little bit rusty these are lacquered on the inside so the rust doesn't bother me but if the other one was hard to open the natural or natural then this one is going to be a major league pain in the butt so let's Get it open. I might have to do a jump cut because this is going to take a little bit of time and my camera is running out of battery. So I'll meet you guys back on the table in, I don't know, the two hours or so that it takes to get this open. It really is difficult, I promise. I'll be right back. That took like two seconds. I, I don't know why I fussed around with the other one for so long. I'll put a little clip of me fussing somewhere in the corner so you can see it actually did take a while. But it's open. This stuff is way paler than the other one I want to add. And they were both sealed. What? Oh my god, this one... Yeah, I remember this one was kind of a hard to close as well. Oh my god. If you were a Brazilian watching and you were interested in buying Guarani, I highly recommend that you buy something to decant it in. For example, what I'm going to decant it in immediately, which is... One of my lovely English style hinged snuff boxes. Partially a classical design, partially my own. Keeps the snuff tolerably fresh, does not leak out buckets of nasal snuff as other ones do. And I'm just gonna drop the whole dang thing in there, and that released a very spicy smell indeed. Let me get a little bit off the lip here. Close you up once again. Goodbye. But yes, yeah, let me... Well, I don't need to do this. I actually have another snuff box with this stuff somewhere. Let's see. Where are we? I have it here. This will be the green feldspar color, by the way. This one would be the red feldspar. Ooh, look at that. By the way, if you wanted to see what, like, why it doesn't leak, it's got this, like, impression here that sits inside, so it gives it some wiggle room for the hinge, which it doesn't really wiggle at all, but it also kind of presses the snuff down, so it keeps it nice and fresh. Anyways, enough advertising. This stuff is way, way darker than this guy over here, and this stuff also smells a lot spicier, and I'm kind of curious, because the other one had ingredients. Composition? It is leaves of milled tobacco and menthol. Curious about that, because that is quite the difference in shade. Ka-chow! Of milled tobacco. Let's have a smell of this stuff. I'll tell you what I'm smelling here. 
I do smell menthol. But the menthol is kind of odd. The menthol is a lot more, like... No, actually, that's menthol. That's pure menthol. Just getting a mix-up with some of the tobacco. The tobacco... The tobacco's weird. I don't know if you guys can see this. Come on, autofocus. Come on, man. Just need to do a snuff review. Ah. Uh, it's really not liking that, so I'm going to wait until it is focused. And I'm going to zoom in. Very slowly. So it's got, like, little tiny... It's like, it's chopped. It's got this kind of fluffy composition to it. There are also little bits of, like, what I presume to be stem. There are little diced, what I think are seeds. They're not bugs. It looks like the husk of a shell. Could also just be some little kid's lead toy that they dropped into my batch and milled up. And now I have to put it in my nose. But that's just the job, baby. Let's... The tobacco smells very Mexican hot chocolatey, which is something that I've experienced before. It's something that I've had with the... When I did the nine different hapes, like the spiritualist hapes in a row. Those had some kind of, like, a Mexican hot chocolate thing going on, and I think that might actually be some amount of tonka bean that's in this as well. But, it's impossible to say just from... just from sniffing the stuff when it's not in my nose, so I'll see you guys back in Brazil in a moment. Oh, it's so hot here in Brazil where I definitely am. So let's talk about this snuff. First thing we got to do is take some. Let's. This is going to be a menthol killer. The menthol smells sweet, but when you can smell this much menthol in a snuff like this, it means that something is very funny will happen. I will tell you that. Let's have a pinch. Cheers. Wah. I'm not a big fan of menthol bombs. I don't know if you can tell. But it is menthol-y. It's not as bad as I was expecting. Some things like Red Bull, or they have eucalyptus and camphor added too, they just... Ah, they explode in your sinus. This one really is just menthol. I don't catch any eucalyptus, I don't catch any camphor, there's nothing overly, oh, like, super aromatic about this. It's sort of got this sensation of, like, crushed candy canes in my nose. There is really not any tobacco smell to be seen here besides this, like, sort of sugary sweetness but that could also be just like a hallucination from the candy cane analogy so the only thing i'm getting is like candy canes sort of a christmasy snuff there's it's more airy than just like a peppermint candy it's like when you inhale it's got like this soft kind of mentholation to it. Things like Red Bull are not soft. Even things like Leche Prisa are not soft. Ah. That's really not bad. I would have it again. A soft menthol like this. Even things like Toke menthol that really should know better are like menthol rattlesnakes. They just sting you and then it's it's over. It does kind of die down quick on this one. Let me see if I can catch anything else. But I don't think that I'll be able to. This stuff has also been sitting for a little while. Cheers. This has some strength to it. In the same way that the other Brazilian snuff did. Where it, it's not punchy, but it creeps up on you. Might have to sneeze. Do I have to sneeze? Do I have to sneeze? Hey! Oh, what a sneeze. 
Yeah, I don't think that there's anything extraordinary about this snuff. It is just a mildly mentholated snuff. There's nothing crazy about it. I'm not catching anything really other than that, so I think I will close this first impressions out. Of course, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. Thank you to all my patrons, and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.